Welcome back to the Auto Repair Cloud channel. This time we will discuss in detail how to use the new workflow 2.0 after it was updated by 8.1 version. Log into the application and choose quotes and repairs. As you already know, in order to start the repair, it is necessary to press plus new quote button, fill out the form with the vehicle details and to complete the creation of the new repair by clicking the add button. You will start with the quote stage or repair preparation. You can add the parts and works to receive the estimate evaluation of the time and cost of the repair. The quote will be deleted in 24 hours. Time can be modified in the application settings. It is necessary to start the repair in order to save the information about parts and works. To start the repair, go to the repair order. This option will become available if you add the information about the vehicle owner. Even though entering only the owner's phone number is sufficient, the additional information can help you and your customers in the future. Besides, your invoice contains the additional information. You are now at the initial stage. Let's take a look at what is going on with your customer's vehicle. Add diagnostics to the repair items. Adding the diagnostics will take your repair to the inspect stage. Now, each repair item has its own life cycle. The added repair item has a suggested status and can be either approved or declined by the vehicle's owner directly or with your help. The next status is process. It means that the task is being performed. When the task is completed, one of your technicians can change the status to completed. So far, you are at the inspect stage. Please complete all diagnostics to go to the approval stage. As before, you can add parts and works necessary to complete the repair. To go to the next stage, all added repair items must be approved, rejected, or completed. Sometimes it is necessary to wait for the parts delivery in order to complete the repair. This is what the next stage, parts delivery, is for. All modifications of the repair item status will be reflected in the order. It seems that we have ordered too many parts of this type, but we only need one for our repair. If you change the quantity of the repair items, then the rest of the parts from your order will get into your inventory. If you change the status of all parts to receive, the system will read it as your readiness for the next stage. The wait tech stage. At this stage, the repair needs technicians. As before, each repair is assigned a prime technician responsible for the repair performance in general. However, now several specialists can take on each stage. So far, only our prime technician was responsible for the part delivery stage. Wait a minute, we have a manager. Let him handle these tasks. On the Configuration Technical Workflow page, you can find the repair stages list. Press the Edit button in Part Delivery line. This will allow editing in the part delivery stage. Press the default worker in the fallout column list. Do you see the list of workers? You can assign any of the available workers to this repair stage. Think that your manager is responsible for both making purchases and creating the work schedule. Please open the wait tag for editing and select same as previous from the default worker list. Now. If you change the manager who was responsible for the parts delivery stage, he will be automatically changed for the wait tech stage as well. Note: 
that for this demonstration of the Waytech stage, we have set very short times in advance. We switched from the usual one hour duration of time to three minutes. The warning times have also been modified. And one more thing to consider while you are still in configuration. Let's get rid of the inspect stage. Imagine that we conduct a scheduled service and do not need the whole cycle to clarify the what causes malfunctions. This doesn't mean that we are unable to perform the diagnostics. We are doing this only for convenience in order for the repair stages to better reflect the business processes of our workshop. Let's go back to the workflow timeline of our repair. As you see, nothing has changed and all modifications will be reflected only in the new repairs. For the labor stage, we will need several technicians at once. Select the corresponding specialists and you will see the results of their work in the technician timesheet report. Wait a minute! While we have been changing the settings for the future repairs, the estimated time for the wait tech stage has run out. By default, the technician has one hour to start working in this stage, but as we have explained earlier, you can set any value suitable for your workshop. However, our technician was not able to start the repair on time, and now the Waytech stage is considered outdated and reflected accordingly on the workflow timeline and in the workflows. It is time to start working. The following data for the current repairs are reflected on the workflows page. Information about the customer, number one, stages and time for their completion, number two, responsible technicians, number three, amounts to pay, four, stage control and repair items button, five. This page is a possibility to look at the workshop work performance from the bird's eye height. The repair orders and workflows offer you similar searching and filtering possibilities, which you already know. This update offers the new search filter, Status, which allows you to select only the repairs at a certain stage. For example, in the Process filter, we'll choose only the repairs with stages until finished, and the To Pay filter will choose only the unpaid repairs in the finished stage. You don't even need to leave the Workflows page to manage your repair. Press the button with a car image and you will see the short list of stages and repair items. If necessary, you can come back to the previous repair stage directly from here, but now we would like to go to the labor stage. This stage will be over only when all works are finished and their status changed to completed. Press the button with a car image again and change the status of all repair items to complete it. Congratulations! With the completion of labor stage, you have finished the repair. You only need to accept the payment. This repair will remain in process for 12 more hours. During this time, you can select it using the corresponding filter on the workflows and repair orders pages. We hope that you will find these features useful. Please subscribe to the channel to learn about the latest auto repair cloud updates and see you soon in our new video.